All right, the Meteon MK80. So people say I promise you all that I will review this one. So now I'm going to review this. So this is a AliExpress um, low profile mechanical keyboard with blue switches. So let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, forgotten to spin it. Woo! Nah, 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 just, just kidding, just kidding. Alright, let me move my keyboard. And my mouse. Okay, alright. So this is the Meteon MK80. So, da 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 Wait. Um, I'm okay, done. Inside the box, we would have the keyboard. Oh, like. You can see right here, the keyboard is wired. You can see right here. So let me... One moment, one moment. One moment. Yep, okay, alright. So, this is the MK80 keyboard right here. The, okay, um, do ignore, um, it's actually when I, I open it, it's quite pristine one. Uh, but I did test it for one month, uh, so this is the review. So, let me just take a um, quick look. Uh, yeah. So, inside here, you, they also provided the manual and also some stickers and also a uh, um, what's it called? Keycap, a, a switch puller. But um, let me um later on I'll talk, talk to you all. Let me move all of this aside so there's nothing else here. Yeah. Let me put everything back and continue on the video. The 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 the. the. Woo! Okay, alright. So this is the keyboard. A low profile keyboard so you can see right here it is quite low a low profile keyboard so you can see right here this is a normal mechanical keyboard you can see right here so you can see the size difference that is quite a lot okay so first thing first the switches the switches is using blue profile you can see right here yep you can see right here blue switches the um, the switch type is not um not what I'm used to. Normally, we expected uh something like this, a cherry cone type, where's the cross headed. Well, this one you can see right here is actually a very very weird, weird profile, a very weird um switch. This is from what I remember I saw it is, I remember here got something got right something like their own brand if I'm not mistaken. Or TT, I can't, I can't, I'm trying to get you all to have a look. Yeah, you see right here, there's TT, yeah, so I'm not sure, is this, is this one of the TT switches? So let me put it back. So, um, the USB cable is not uh, unpackable, you can see right here. Not very long cable, you can see right here, I did tie, tie it, this one is not included, it will give you like the normal cable, um, Normal type, normal cable type, normal type, look, normal cable type, and then also you can see right here, it's not gold plated or anything, um, marketing about it. Cable, just normal cable, it's not braided, so you can see right here, it's very, it's quite a cheap, considered a cheap keyboard. But the only special about this that I took that caught my eye is actually the low profile. I never had a low profile keyboard before, so I think I use this for a look, and then also uh, right over here, you can see right here, there's also um one. Sort of like a lift for you. I see right here. For those of you that prefer a slight angle on top, or or prefer someone like me, like which is using the flat one. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Let's turn it on. So I got here. I got an extension cable. All right. It's right here. Tada! Okay, all right. First thing first. Um, there's a few color mood for us. Like I can see right here. There is the solid the rain top for a second and also the, this RGB and the other way around and also some blinking mode and then we have this and also we have this again which is like fit and also a few modes I can see right here okay so there's quite, quite actually a few modes for this keyboard so changing the colors actually using this to change the the the, the mood like you see right here 
from blue to pink so okay alright so that should be all for the color color is not very important we're going to test for the sound so just to let you all know how many colors that actually is uh. so let's take change, uh, change the mood you can see right here is this is pink then we also have rainbow we also have white we also have red and orange and green and blue and blue again and pink again so you can see right here that's actually like five six seven 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 colors so it's not individually they have a preset, some preset modes and also some of the colors for you to choose from you're unable to there's no software for you to change the color specifically so if you like if you which color you prefer do comment down below let me go run through one more round again okay all right which color you like do comment down in, in the comments below okay all right so some sound test so da, da, da. Well, you can see right here is not the greatest keyboard or even the most comfortable. You can see even when I'm typing time, I also having some problems finding out the keys. Ah. This is due to the flat um, ergonomics of this. So you can see right here, it's quite hard to get some of the... the um, you might accidentally click on the person next to you. You can see sometimes I went, oh, my finger might be overshoot a bit and my fingernails. You can see right here, my fingernails actually tap on another, on another button. So this is not really what I like to have for for my keyboard. Okay, so this is the Meteon MK80. So not the keyboard that I would recommend to anyone because personally I feel that it's the quality is not that good. I used to see for one month and see how dirty is it or even the keycaps is very easily stainable. And the thing that made me frustrated the most, see right over here. I will, I'm missing one of the pieces right here. I'm not sure why if I is missing one pieces right here. I contacted the person but it's not looks like might be my fault or something along the lines and also um, the switches would come in a few type variants which is the blue the red and the brown I got the blue clicky one you can see right here it's very loud so this is the meter mk80 if, do you think this is this a good keyboard or not do comment down in the in the comments below if you like the video do like if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe I'm aiming to get a hundred subscribers by end of this year I would really appreciate your support. If you like to continue looking on to more of my keyboards, click right over here. And I'll see you all next time. See you all. Bye.